Welcome back guys, it's Chipmunk Master Boy here, and we're here with another matchup from Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Storm Generations. Oh, what happened there? A little uh, mumbo jumbo, my tongue got twisted. Nah, I'm joking. So this time, uh, the request that was uh, given to me was Asuma versus Kimimaro. Now, I kind of struggled with Asuma. Not sure if you guys are really good at using him, but for sure, um, when you see in this video, I kind of suck at using him. It was a bit of a challenge using versus Kimimaro, because with Kimimaro, his ninjutsu is kind of really boss, in my opinion. Uh, he does like this whole large dance, uh, that's what the move's called. And, um, you know, I'm, t I'm kind of the person who who want to chakra dash and do straight on damage than actual far range. So I kind of hate this kind of long range stuff. And how every time I chakra dash, this guy spams his ninjutsu. Didn't really know that CPUs were spammers, but okay. Um, obviously, all these matches, every single one of my matchups are played in super hard. And, uh, you know, it's kind of fun. Uh, super hard isn't even close to what you'll face online. Maybe some people are way easier, some people will be way harder. You never know who you're going to face. Um, so, you can't really compare the two. So, forget about that. Enough of that uh, stuff. We're here for a matchup. So, this matchup, you know, it went on pretty well. Use your items well. You know, I was just kind of, I'm kind of low on substitution gauge bars here. So, I'm just uh, kind of holding out, and then I kind of did something stupid here, and he landed his guard breaker like a boss. Yeah. So this time I'm kind of taking the defensive and playing it a little slow, and I don't know how my guard breaker did not hit there. You know, sometimes this game kind of makes me pull my hair. <laughs> hey, you admit it, it makes everyone pull their hair out, especially online, you know, my heart races like a bullet train. Uh, which is why, you know, until I get probably some good internet speed, I'm not going to play online because it lags like crazy. And I don't like lag, because lag causes a lot of problems, especially when I'm recording. You guys don't want to, first of all, you're going to be, if you guys have crappy internet, you're going to be buffering a video, and it would suck to buffer a video that's lagged, because that's just, that's just horrible. I'm not that mean. Don't worry, I'm never, I'm not even going to give you lag gameplay, because that stuff's just disgusting. We all know that. So, you know, look at this, look at this. He's used this ninjutsu over, like, what, six times now? I'm not counting, but, I mean, it looked like it. And he managed to, you know, take out that, and uh, now he's gone into his curse mode, so I'm like, oh crap, better stay away from this guy. So, every time, uh, you know, I have an enemy who's really strong at awakening, uh, you know, this whole state is known as awakening, and the whole lamp that blinks there is known as the awakening lamp, at least from Storm 1, when I had it, it says awakening mode. You guys can call it whatever you want, super mode, super saiyan mode, <laughs> super powerful mode, or curse mark mode, that works best because, you know, he's actually in his curse mark. From the actual Naruto series, that's a term rather. But you know, I call it awakening mode because it's just a general term I use for everyone. So the best thing to do here is to kind of, you know, wait for uh, an opening and then, you know, strike. This is so boss. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of Kabuto's, uh, the, the less retarded Kabuto, the one where he's not all snaked up in like Orochimaru cells. Kind of reminds me of his super move. Um, but Asuma, yeah, totally cool. He's a good character if you uh, kind of know how to use him. I haven't really used them. You know, when someone asks me for a matchup, I just go straight to my PS3 when I have the time and then record it. And, uh, you know, this is actually the first time I used them. So, you know, that's how it's based on all my experiences. And, you know, I'm just like, all right, let's just use the general fighting style that I use with every character. Unless you really play with a character over and over, you really wouldn't know the tricks behind them. But, you know, I kind of play for demonstrating how the character goes, and, you know, some less unfortunate people don't have this game yet, so they want to, you know, see how each of each characters perform before they get the game, so they can, you know, get an idea of how awesome a certain character is, and they're probably their favorite character from the series is. So, it's kind of, you know, me just helping you guys out, as usual, because I like helping people. Yeah. No, nah, okay. So, this time I switched up, obviously, because, uh, you know, I kind of started this. I don't know if I started this, but, you know, when people ask you for matchups, I kind of observe that when somebody says, oh, I want to have, for example, there's, I'm just going to give random names here. Um, if I wanted to have A versus character A versus character B, these aren't actual characters, but I'm just making up, like, little variables to represent them. So, if someone were to request, I want to see a matchup of character A versus character B, the guy would only do character A versus B, but I kind of switch up things. I want you to see both sides um, of the battle and see how each character performs. So, you know, instead of me doing A versus B, I do, when somebody asks me for A versus B, I do character A versus character B, and then I switch it up, and then I'm character B, and then I verse character A. 
So that way you guys get to see both. And I think, um, I'm not sure, I'm mostly sure, I'm almost positively sure that that's probably a good thing for you guys because you get to see more video time and, you know, you get to see both the characters. And I never use supports for these things because you want to see how the characters perform individually and not with supports. Because supports just makes things cheap at some points, you know. Like, I know a bunch of uh, hilarious supports that are almost always used online, such as Pain and Kidan. Uh, because you'll you'll find out why people use them so much, especially since Pain can do his ninjutsu in midair. It's kind of funny. And uh, here I went a little, I got a little careless, and I was like, okay, let's jump around. And then I realized at that point when he attacked me, I did not have any substitution bars, and so he landed his ultimate on me. But I'm like, no way, bro. I'm gonna land mine on you. And the good thing is, um, Kimamaro's move is long range, so I was able to land it because uh, Asuma charged me. He just double dashed at me, so, you know, the spikes were still on the ground, and he got caught. And now, you know, um, another thing is that if you go into your awakening mode, you kind of, uh, the thing is, when you go into your awakening mode, they can't land their guard breaker on you, they can't land their ultimate jutsu on you, so don't even bother blocking them. It'll just kind of mash those away, and it won't even hit you, so don't even bother about that. It doesn't take out any health. Uh, just a little tip for you guys, if you haven't already noticed. And, uh... You know, it's kind of an awesome move as ninjutsu because he actually gets a cutscene of his own. I didn't expect that. You know, some characters, they just do their same move except stronger. Enough of that uh, chit-chat. I guess it's the end of the video, so hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at CMBYT. And peace, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.